Transit Custom isn't Ford's largest transit model line, but it's an impressively versatile, medium-sized LCV segment player that's been vastly improved in this revised form. Transit models have ruled the British large LCV market for around half a century, and products like this one are the reason why. There's no getting away from the fact that by far the most important update made to this Transit Custom in recent times lies with the installation of a whole fresh range of 2-litre EcoBlue diesel engines, which, as well as being much more efficient, offer 20% more pulling power through the gears. Now, if you're familiar with previous versions of this van, you should notice that out on the road pretty quickly. Uh, there's a choice of 105, 130 and 170 PS outputs, uh, the latter two available with a new Select Shift 6-speed automatic transmission. Expect running cost returns in the 40 to 45 mpg combined cycle bracket and CO2 readings in the 165 to 180 grams per kilometer range, which is very class competitive. If you want to do better, Ford does offer a super frugal Econetic version of the 105 PS model. Service intervals on the diesel models are set at a lengthy 36,000 miles or every two years, which is class leading. Uh, if your business wants to make a particularly green statement, uh, then you can ask your dealer about the plug-in hybrid version, which makes a one litre EcoBoost petrol engine to a 50 kilowatt electric motor powered by a lithium ion rechargeable battery. As before, handling through the bends is class leading, and that's thanks in part to a torque vectoring system which Ford developed for its passenger cars. And there's a useful 2,500 kilo brake towing capacity too. A van needs to look smart, modern and professional. This one certainly does with signature kinetic design features that bring a purposeful stance and a bold rising shoulder line, clearly marking out this transit custom as a cargo carrier very much of its time. Over 2,200 parts have been changed in creating this revised version, so what we're looking at here is a bit more than just a facelift. Now quite a few of them feature here at the front where the bonnet, the wings and this lower bumper area are all new. So these slimmer, more dynamic LED framed headlamps which can now include HID Xenon technology if you want it. And these flank a bolder, high mounted three bar transit grille. Now inside this cabin design is very different from what went before. Uh, there's an all new dash and instrument layout which on top models like this one features Ford's sophisticated SYNC 3 8 inch infotainment touchscreen. Now this offers Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone mirroring, uh, Bluetooth, audio and if specified navigational functions and it delivers intuitive voice control too. Uh, the seats have been redesigned for greater support, materials quality is vastly better and there's there's been a big increase in stowage around the cabin, primarily through the addition of these three dash top open stowage areas. As before, there's a three person seating layout and the centre backrest folds down to create a desktop area. In addition, uh, the seat base lifts up to reveal extra storage capacity. There are several hundred Transit Customs derivatives to choose from, uh, with most being centred around the panel van body shape we have here. Adding people to the packaging mix means you might want to look at the double cabin van body shape with its extra rearward seats in front of the load bay, or if you want to give the whole space over to the carriage of people, uh, then there's the Combi minibus or the more luxurious Torneo large MPV model, both of which can seat either eight or nine. Flexibility when it comes to load carrying practicality is of course a fundamental requirement of any van and Ford has done its best to nail that here. For this test we've selected a typical L1H1 Transit Custom with standard wheelbase and roof heights and that's capable of carrying up to 6 cubic metres of capacity. Uh, there's a load area height of 1406 mils with a class leading width between the wheel arches of 1351 mils plus a load area length of 2554 mils. In all variants you can increase your load area length by 517 mils by making use of a handy flap in the bulkhead which allows you to push really lengthy items through into the cab. If you need something bigger in the Transit Custom range, a higher H2 roof height is available, as is a longer L2 wheelbase. Together, these two additions could potentially give you up to 8.3 cubic metres of total capacity. Now, the payload figures are class competitive, up to 1,530 kilos in this L1H1 model, and these readings will
will obviously be heavily influenced by the gross vehicle weight you choose. Uh, there's a choice of 2,600, 2,800, 3,000, 3,200 and 3,400 kilo series models uh, with the longer L2 body shape only available with the three weightiest options. And in summary, well, once upon a time, Ford's dominance in the British LCV sector was founded on little more than the fact that UK buyers tended to replace their transits with another because that was what they'd always done. In some cases, this kind of mindset may continue, but what's different today is the quality of the product these people are buying into. It is, once again, number one for a reason. <laughs>